Hello and welcome RC Jim. This video will be all about the Recon 6. I had a great FPV meeting with a friend and compared the copter to the Chimera 5 and Chimera 7. He even let me fly the Chimera 7 to do some dive tests. I also tried the full-size GoPro 7 that I have on the Recon 6 and later compared it to the Insta-SMO which of course is better from the weight and since I was always a bit concerned about the wobbles of my tune. I tried to eliminate the vibrations by using RPM filters, installing the Chesk firmware, tuning it so you will see better tunes, as well as testing it with 6S LiPos instead of Lion Packs. And in the end you will be treated with some nice scenic flights. So hope you stay in here and enjoy this video. This first shot just shows you the difference between DVR shakiness and how good the GoPro 7 Hypersmooth steadies this all out. Here's a short occurrence of the Chimera 5 and just nice scenery. We had a lot of fun there. We opted to stay safe so he also wanted to try out this Chimera 7 for the first time and wanted to fly over safe grounds and not into the nice mountains in the background. I already flew there, if you're curious, check out my video, it will be linked at the end. 
it's an awesome mountain but it was also quite windy that day so we just had some low flying fast speed chasing fun and it was easier for me to chase his chimera 5 here with my Recon 6 later chasing or flying with the chimera 7 was difficult because the chimera definitely flies faster so he had to fly extra slow and I had to really catch up or try to catch up this is the, the highest we got to the mountains and then we tried to do a co-op dive which we should try way more often in the future I guess here you see how windy it actually was in the tree in the background this was the other day on my Eichberg still trying to perfect my tune which I didn't succeed at this point in time but you see you don't need a good tune uh, stabilization in this case from the Insta SMO helps you a lot and makes every piece of footage look good And here's a direct comparison between DVR and stabilized footage. Next up, I really hope you enjoy my scenic compilation.
now with 6s with good pits and with rpm filters activated and unfortunately it's low winds here you can see in a side by side comparison left the 4s and right the 6s pack i feel like the 6s is more stable but it's it's also no wind but this thing now really flies like on rails with 6s with the rpm filter that filter out a lot of the shakes the vibrations from the frame and now it really flies nice like a smooth cruiser to be able to surf the trees like i really enjoy too and this dog really enjoys his ball <laughs> it sounded wrong didn't see yet if this performs well with 6s in winds which would be preferable but the cool thing is the flight times i landed it with 20 percent with 19 percent 1250 demon used a thousand and forty milliamps in 11 minutes which is really nice and i was flying quite fast at times i could fly more efficient so very nice flight times this is the next day um, more than i could have asked for because it is very windy today and i could test the pits on the recon and i could also test if 6s and more voltage gives this thing more power and more stability in high winds short answer is yes it does <laughs> the other thing i ask myself do cows know when it's time to go home unlike me <laughs> The answer is also yes. Uh, one of them starts to move and then they all follow. <laughs> and here you see my attempt to dive with the success. And a lot of wind, a lot of tailwind in this case. Of course it shakes. The camera stabilization of HD cams can filter this out nicely for you. But it's always the question, are you comfortable flying? Uh, already while flying with with a shaky copter and i feel like i'm comfortable enough now i could fly 12 minutes with the 1300 success pack which is nice when i flew against the wind it was around 20 kph like hovering or fighting the wind and i turned around with the same horizon i got to around 90 kph which tells me it's up to 70 kph of winds fighting against up there but if you fly higher you have constant breeze and if you fly lower over the trees you have a lot of turbulences so yeah up there it was very uh, smooth and yeah while surfing the trees it was a bit of a bumpy ride but and also with my lithium ion pack i felt like i had enough power it was a bit more bumpy I think the RPM filters helped. Not sure if this is already the perfect tune. I took two screenshots of my tunes now and the filters. You see them now. I want to shout out to Leandre FPV who did an awesome job of explaining RPM filters and also of course to Bartwell for his Chesk flashing tutorial that's quite old but still a good source of information. Yeah. I was happy to invest a few dollars for the Chess firmware to get RPM filtering. And I will also try this on the Chimera 5 to get this to fly smoother. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.